Hello, this is Gen 83, and this is episode two of the Lotus F1 team, uh, my team career mode on F1 2020, and we're here on the R&D tree and everything. Just the support on the first episode yesterday was incredibly good, so a lot better than what I expected. So really, thank you for that. And yeah, 11th place finish, as you can see there. We chose another sponsor because you unlock a sponsor every time. Uh, but we're here for Bahrain today, and it's a track that I, I think I'm pretty similar on to Australia. Um, I tweaked the AI ever so slightly um, because I think it was slightly too low in Australia. So I went up to 103 uh, from 101 and I was choosing a sponsor here. I went for Atlantic, uh, which is just the, bet, the highest income. And they want me to score to do 75 laps uh, each race weekend. So that seems like a fairly reasonable goal to get if we do the practice programs and both cars finish. And you can see practice one here in the daytime in Bahrain, which is a bit of a rarity. But uh, track classification, I actually uh, didn't get the purple score because I'm a massive fraud. Uh, and I could only get green after three attempts, so yeah, only the green 30 points there for me, but yeah, we move on to the next thing. Uh, unfortunately, only 445 there you can see at the top. Um, I don't know why. I I think my lines are good, but the game obviously thinks otherwise, and the tire wear test was uh, obviously purple. That's quite an easy one uh, to get, and same with fuel as well, or green, because uh, just by driving normally, you can get a green score um, and beat the target lap time, so... Yeah, and then the, the strategy test, which I didn't actually do in Australia, but turns out it's fairly easy, is just do three laps of, uh, under a time, and that's exactly what I did. Get to 50 points, and that's a lot of uh, R&D points, and you can see into qualifying now for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Obviously, in Australia, we got through to Q2 um, and qualified 14th on the grid. Uh, but this race with the higher AI, um, I, ex I hope to beat the Williams and to beat my teammate, but other than that, I don't expect much. But Leclerc already expects even less from me, apparently, because he thinks I'm on a cooldown lap when I've just started my hot lap. So he's all over the place in turn one, losing me about a second there, just um, because he just came out of the pits. And yeah, completely brainless act from the Ferrari driver there. And you can see coming up to the end of the lap, and it's going to be a high 28, is it? Or even a, yeah, a 28.9 there. And I'm 1.7 seconds off of Kvyat, who's just had Della Trace in a minute. So that lap is horrific. I let Leclerc through because I'm a nice guy. Um, and now this is the end of Q1, so I'm, I'm last by a long way. So I need to really pull a lap out of the bag here to try and beat my teammate and beat the Williams cars. Into turn one, locking up ever so slightly, not quite getting the turning we wanted, but short shifting up to third and fourth gear through turn two, taking a lot of curb on exit. You can do that because it doesn't spin you too much this year. And now seven tenths up, you can see how much time Leclerc lost me just by parking on the apex of turn one. Coming through turn four now, trying to take as much speed through it as possible, but it's quite difficult with this low low grip car, really. It's all round quite bad, but coming through the middle sector now, S section, trying to get as much speed as possible. Again, we're about a second up now, which is fairly good. And this corner I was struggling with all weekend, it felt like. Couldn't quite get a turn in, but I don't know pretty well there, actually. Losing the back end slightly on exit, but that's to be expected. And then a lot of uh, lot of back end loss through the gears, and now down to the lockout corner. But you can break really late on this game at there, which I was found quite surprising. Obviously, the game is a little bit faster than last year, but I had to break so early last year but this time doing it pretty well and 1.2 seconds up now but obviously the previous lap was absolutely nowhere near the pack uh, and fourth gear through the uh, into the last sector or coming up to the last sector now and takes the corner just about flat out in this car it's not a great car but in obviously in time trial and everything it's easily flat and now through the second last corner trying to take as much speed as possible not track extending one and a half seconds up now and it's going to be fairly decent it should put me in and around the Williams and my teammate Delatraz um, and I'm breaking just that 100 meter ball for the last corner, trying to take a lot of engine curve. The, ex the exit opens up a lot, so you can just take a lot more speed. Running over the curve there, 1.4 second improvement, and it's going to be into the low 27s, and it puts me in 20th place, which is pretty disappointing, really. Behind my teammate, Delatraz, um, not far off could be actually, but by the end of the session, uh, obviously that's me out in Q1, but it put me in 21st place, just two tenths off my teammate, Delatraz, uh, in between the Williams cars, which is I'm a, li I'm a little bit disappointed with, to be honest. We're also joined by the Alpha Tauris of Kvyat and Gasly out in Q1. But that is obviously to be expected. We'll have better qualifying sessions, I'm sure. And actually, that puts us 20th on the grid because it was Stroll um, had yeah engine penalties, which I don't know how the AI keep getting engine penalties on like race two. Uh, we had Ricardo on race one as well, which is a bit strange. But if we're going to start on the hard tyres, do a one-stop strategy. Should be fairly straightforward. We're going to fill the car up with petrol as well. Um, and now coming onto the grid for the five red lights for the Bahrain Grand Prix. Under the floodlights here, and it's quite a long hold, but we're away at last, and it's going to be an average star. It looks like Russell's bogged down a little bit, but it's the Stroll, I think. Oh, it's Latifi, actually. Two Canadians in the back row, and we've lost the place to Latifi already. Stroll's going to go down the outside, but what, can we make anything happen here? Latifi's breaking early, Russell's breaking early, going down the inside of loads of cars, and it's just like an absolute Constina effect. We almost stopped. It's going so slowly, and we're actually three wide at the minute with um, Gasly on the outside, Della Trance on the inside, making a little bit of contact with my teammate, which is not what you want to see, but we got away with it, I think, with no damage done. 
And you can see Stroll has gained like four or five places. We're going to go inside Gasly and my teammate Della Traz. Three wide again into turn four. Can I make this one work out? Not quite. Almost contact again. There was contact with Della Traz. Almost spinning out there. And that's going to Latifi around the outside. And I'm down into 21st place. Russell's gone down three places. I've gone down just the one. But Latifi and Stroll getting amazing starts. We're going up the inside of Latifi. Very aggressive stuff. But obviously the Williams cars are not who you want to be racing. So we need to clear them as quickly as possible. And that is, looks like to be what we've done. We're going to go running outside of turn 10 now. Try and break late. Latifi obviously only in the second race, but myself the same. So battle of the rookies really. And we've just about uh, taken it and moved up into 20th place. Obviously hard tyres. So I, I'm just hoping to stay with the pack as it stands. You can see end of lap one. Delatraz just ahead of me. We're in the sit stream with the overtake mode and rich mix. I don't quite know what engine mode he's in, obviously, but down to turn one. Can we make anything happen here? Breaking very late. He's gone a bit early. We're going to send it down the inside. I'm not really alongside, but he's going to turn in, um, and that's probably fair enough. But we're going to get a good exit now because he was put off on the apex of turn one. And now down towards turn four, we're going to make Louis go defensive. Round the outside of turn four. Can we outbreak him and send it here? Yes, we can. Just about running outside. He's going to have the inside line, though, uh, but we just about send it and take that position up into 19th place uh, on lap two now. And we've got a little bit of a gap to the AlphaTauris, but um, we'll try and make something happen. We're down towards turn eight, just about running a bit wide there. So let's have a look at the race start again. And you can see the two Ferraris on the front row with the two Mercs behind. And it looks like a fairly standard start. Um, we're looking more towards the back because that's what uh, really matters at the minute in our current state of affairs. But uh, yeah, there we are in the green car right at the back of the grid. You can see sending it down the inside. You can just see the whole grid pretty much stopped. Uh, through turn one. I don't quite know what was going on there. You don't really see that in real life, but yeah, Stroll, I think, gained six places by the time he got through turn three. So I kind of want to see that. We see in real life quite often Stroll gets good starts, so maybe they've replicated that. You see he started stone dead last on the grid. There's me just ahead of him. Um, and he got a good slip stream, actually. I went to the inside. It turns out it looks like Stroll went to the outside line. The two Williams went very narrow, as well as uh, the, the Alpha Tari there, and he absolutely sent it, and almost uh, up to his teammate Perez, who started, I think, 15th. That's seven places and, and no, apart on the grid, and they were pretty much side by side um, as it went through turn four. So incredible start from Stroll, but that's not really any of my problem, really, is we're going wide now. You can see how much time we've lost to Gasly. It's, the pace just wasn't there this race at all. Um, and yeah, Della Traz is coming back at me now on those medium tyres. Obviously, the hards are not as good. Um, but can we send it on the other tracks? We've got some cars on the pits as well. There's Leclerc, the absolute nemesis from qualifying. He blocks me, but going massive oversteer there. And the is going to be able to keep up the inside, but not quite uh, get the run. But he's actually going to come alongside, but then I've used a little bit of overtake mode, the overtake button, and taken that position back uh, and retained it into 18th place, actually. I think it's Hamilton is to come out behind the two Williams cars as well um, in 21st. So... Yeah, ahead of one car that we shouldn't really be ahead of at the minute, but um, obviously they're going to be on two stop strategies. I'm on the one stop, so pretty much the only thing I can do is try and annoy them as much as possible. It's actually Bottas, not Hamilton, sorry. Um, uh, Hamilton is behind my teammate Della Trout, so it's synchronized overtaking for the Mercedes, but a lot of cars in the pit, so up to 13th place. Um, obviously not racing the Mercedes, so I'm not going to put up too much of a fight against Bottas or Hamilton, really. Um, and yeah, coming through the same lap on lap nine, uh, this corner I was struggling with the whole time, trying to get a good braking point, and we've lost the back end loads as well, uh, just by keeping it in check through the uh, higher gears. And Hamilton's going to go up the inside, very aggressive move there. And I wasn't very happy about that because I pretty much had to get out of the throttle and go massively wide over the curves. And that's like Delatraz. I had a bit of a gap of like two seconds to Delatraz, and that's just come down straight to nothing because Hamilton forced me off. So yeah, cheers, Lewis. But we can move on. And now lap 12, a couple laps later, we're up into 14th. We've got Ricardo and Sainz uh, and the other Renault of Ocon just behind. And this coming up towards turn four, Ricardo's got to get out a good run. I'm not using overtake. He must be using overtake because look at that overspeed. He's going up the inside. I try and go in defensive, making it difficult for him, but not quite. And Ricardo takes that place on his medium tyres that match the Renault livery very nicely. I'm getting a massive oversteer moment, um, but managed to hold it. And 15th place, I don't think points are on the table this race, unlike Australia. Um, so we just got to try and do the best we can and yeah move on I'm pretty sure uh, unless something catastrophic happens we uh, we won't be getting any points and running wide again through the final corner they're getting loads of oversteer and that's going to allow Sainz to go down the inside pretty easily and also Ocon on his soft tyres has got a massive overspeed we've got the overtake mode on Sainz he doesn't look like he has it because up the inside it's going to be three wide down towards turn one sending it up the pair of them there and just about asserting my dominance on the inside of turn one and that was pretty aggressive, but this is the sort of moves we've got, to, we've got to make if we want to make our mark on Formula 1. You can see that 14 here, a few more cars in the pits, including my teammate Delatraz. There's Raikkonen, who in the Alfa Romeo has already made his one and only stop because he started on medium tyres. And we're side by side with him now. Um, through turn two, he's just about going to hold it on the outside. 
and here comes Ocon as well in the Renault. We've got to try and hold him off as well. Down towards turn four, breaking 100 meters, sending it back on Ocon just about and holding him off, uh, it looks like. And Ocon is really struggling to get past. But Raikkonen has done his own only stop and is already out ahead of me. So he must be up for quite a good result because, yeah, he's ahead of all these guys on two stops behind me already going to the end of the race. So now a few more cars in the pits. Obviously, I've got a stop to make still. And that's Giovinazzi as well, the other Alfa Romeo, but Ocon's going to go up the inside and he's going to get hemmed in a bit by Giovinazzi on the apex, going very slowly, so I'm going to hold it on the outside and just about hold him off once again. We're in the points at a bit, well, for one point in 10th place, but yeah, I've still got a pit stop to make, obviously, as do all the cars behind me, but uh, they're on much faster tyres and it's going to be almost impossible to hold them off, especially when they're going to get an overcut on me uh, because I'm pitting onto the medium tyres as uh, right now. So into the pits we go, down to 50 mile an hour, very difficult speed limit to get to. Um, We've also got Norris, I think it is, just behind me on softs, uh, coming in for his second stop. So he's done soft, soft, medium. Uh, and I've obviously done hard. I'm now onto medium tyres. Um, it'll be interesting to see where we're coming out in relation to Dallatraz because he pit two, three or four laps ago onto hards. So we'll have quite an undercut. It's a 3.1, so not, not the best pit stop there from the Lotus boys. Um, but obviously, second race ever, so you can let him off. Uh, and I'll come in uh, down towards turn one, out the pits. And Dallatraz has already gone past me. So has Grosjean, and I think that's Ocon who has undercut me as well. The two Frenchmen and the Swiss driver, uh, all pretty uh, pretty close together there. But through turn three, we've still got Norris behind me, out in 19th place, which is obviously not where I want to be, but it is what it is. And here goes uh, Grosjean past Delatraz. We're closing in quite a bit. Can we make something happen here? And we've broken very late. Delatraz not confident at all, and we're sending it on him again. That is not a move I want to see back. Um, but we've made it work somehow, and we're up the inside of Delatraz. Yeah, probably could have done some multi-21 there, but obviously not in the game uh, unfortunately that'd be pretty cool to add though um, and now down towards uh, turn one again lap 19 and there is a car coming out of the pits it is car science Grosjean's getting hemmed in by him we're going to go round the outside of Grosjean that is a move I want to see again because that was incredible and we're up ahead of Grosjean now that was like Lando Norris on Pierre Gasly from last year in Bahrain but a few corners earlier so yeah very happy with that and now the same lap actually lap 19 we're up into 17th place and the yellow flag out and that is actually for my teammate Delatraz who is retiring from the race with a mechanical issue and there's a safety car deployed as well. So once again, as we saw in Melbourne, a safety car mid-race. And that's probably going to help me out a bit because I've got fresh tyres. And yeah, we're back on the pack now. Although I don't think I have the pace to actually fight for anything. But because the Alpha Tauris, I think, are 11th and 12th at the minute on old hards. So I think I might have to pace over them. We've got a massive moment on the safety car restart there. I'm going to switch the off-hold camera because Gojon's got a very good run on me here. But we saw on lap one how they all constantly up. This is going to happen again on the restart because all AI are so close together. Now down towards turn one. Science is breaking extremely early. We're going to go sending it up the inside of him and Ocon. Once again, getting the, uh, getting the apex of turn one. And that allows us to hold it around the outside of turn two and get a good run in the exit. But Ocon still uh, in the position to challenge down towards turn four. And he's going to do that with his Renault and uh, medium tyres on. Although we're on medium as well, so it should be fairly similar. Although his car is fundamentally faster. But we've just about held him off into turn four and through the S section now. I've got to try and keep it up. But, uh, fourth gear for the first one, fifth gear for the second. Try not to run over that kerb. Um, we've hit it a little bit hard there and turn eight fairly nicely there. And now uh, on the exit, once again, we see a massive moment of oversteer. This car just does not handle well at low speed at all or at high speed, really. And knock on uh, up the inside. We've been hit as well from science in the back. So that's going to allow science to get alongside. As uh, I think I broke slightly earlier than his uh, for his liking then. Um, and yeah, science very nearly challenged, but we just about hold him off. And this time you can see... Uh, lap 25 a bit later we actually just held position and you can see Gasly I think that's Bottas and Ocon all going at it it's Kvyat actually and yeah Bottas for some reason down in 13th place really struggling but Ocon and Kvyat are going at it and as, as I was saying the Alpha Tauris are both on hards um, on old hards as well so if, I think we might have the pace over them if we can catch them and here's Kvyat we've got to try and send it on the inside of turn 4 and we've actually sprung way too late there sent it on Ocon as well I don't quite know how there wasn't a massive crash there, but uh, we've still got Science alongside. I don't know where Ocon's gone, but apparently he's nowhere to be seen. There's Science now, and the McLaren's up the inside, because I had to. I, I knew I broke too late, so I just sort of released the brake and sent it over the kerb to try and avoid contact. Didn't quite work. I think Ocon would be a bit livid about that, as I would be if it happened to me. But yeah, we've, we're still in 15th place, so now down towards turn one on Science, and he's going to break so early again, and that's an appalling move, <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest. But yeah. I don't know what's going on with the AI, but they just cannot be confident that the brakes is turn one. 
I don't want to take advantage of this too much because obviously that's not realistic and it's absolutely appalling. And I'd never try that in an online race. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll say that anyway. And now, uh, yeah, 14th place though with a few laps to go. You can see Kvyat, uh, Stroll and Gasly. Not Kvyat, sorry, he's already behind me. Bottas, Kvyat, uh, Bottas, Gasly and Stroll. If I can actually get the right drivers out are ahead of me. But we've got a massive moment. I thought I'd have a chance there. But Science, yeah, giving it back what I deserve really. Anyway, down towards turn four. We're going to hold off Kvyat quite easily. I think Stroll had an issue because he was losing loads of pace. And you can see Science is gone. Um, probably fair enough after what I did to him at turn one. Uh, and yeah, Stroll, I think, has some sort of Urz issue. Or maybe, yeah, he must have something wrong with his car because he's lost all of, all kinds of pace. And Grosjean's still just behind me, but he's not close enough for him to turn one. So, yeah, he actually is. He's going to send it like I did a few laps ago on Science, uh, but not quite uh, alongside enough this time. We held it around the outside of Grosjean. But yeah, you can see the cars ahead. It's a Mercedes and a, a McLaren. So not really got much chance of uh, catching them two. Uh, and yeah, you can see one lap later, 29 out of 29, and it's going to be P14, which, considering the pace of the car, is fairly good in terms of a finishing position, but obviously it's no points again. So we'll have to wait for the uh, the first points for Lotus F1 team, but 14th place isn't terrible in the grand scheme of things. And you can see the finishing results, Ferrari 1 2 once again. Uh, as I was saying earlier in the race, Giovinazzi and Raikkonen absolutely nailed the strategy on a one stop and got fourth and sixth somehow. So. Absolutely incredible from them, to be fair. I finished 14th place, 30 seconds off the lead. Again, it'll be interesting to see what the sort of times are throughout the season. Um, and yeah, it's a little bit worse than Melbourne. Um, obviously, Dell Trans retired, which is a bit of a problem for the team. Um, yeah, we look at the standings. I dropped down, but I'm still the highest scoring non scorer, highest placed non scorer, I should say, uh, in 15th place now. Um, due to our 11th place in Melbourne, which is good. And yeah, zero points still in the constructors, obviously. But that is going to be the end of this video. Uh, if you want to see more, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel. This has been JY3, and I will see you next time.